So not only did I have surgery, I got a vacation as well. Hey y'all, in this video, I will be discussing the four main reasons why I chose to have BSG in Mexico. One of those reasons was the uh, approval process or uh, the approval odds. When I finally made the decision to have VSG, I knew my odds were likely, I knew I'd likely get approved. However, I feel as if I would have had to go through a little bit more red tape, well I'm sorry, a lot more red tape had I chose to have the procedure done in the United States. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe that the decision would not have been mine and mine alone. I believe it would have had to have been a joint decision between myself and my physician or a physician. And that to me is something that I felt like I didn't need. I didn't need anyone's permission at that point to do something um, that could change or say and or save my life. So I didn't feel like I needed to discuss that with my doctor. I didn't. And so what I did was um, I looked into the facility that a friend of mine went to in Mexico and I started researching um, everything about them and I found out, you know, um, as much as I could basically about the place before I finalized my decision. And one thing I liked about this particular uh, facility was their approval process. You basically go to their website and they have a form um, for you to fill out. And you complete the form and you answer all the questions and the questions are basically, you know, about um, your reasoning for wanting VSG. It asks you about your comorbidities. It asks, you know, basically uh, your health information. So I completed the form online and it was almost instantaneous, the approval. It was almost instantaneous, but I got a call back in, I believe, less than an hour. And I'm sure a lot of it had to do with what I listed as my comorbidities. And so basically, I feel that if you are someone with, you know, at least um, a comorbidity um, as opposed to multiple, um, or a, for example, say you have like a class three BMI. Um, I listed, you know, uh, my BMI because you have to calculate it. And they send, they give you, they provide you with the link to do so. And then you also discuss, you know, any other medical conditions or medical related conditions that you may have as a result and so I put in you know the pain and feet in my, uh, the pain in my feet and my ankles and I detailed you know everything that I could about why I wanted to have it done and like I said within I believe an hour's time I got a call back and I was shocked I, I, I had no idea it was that quick because when I discussed it with my friend it was simply still a discussion at that point I didn't ask her how she went about scheduling it and everything so I had to find that out on my own so I didn't know until I did it myself just how rapid of a turnaround time it was but yeah that um, quick approval process played a huge role in my decision because when she called me back she was basically letting me know she was a representative of the facility they received my form and that basically um, I was pre-approved for the process and I was like wow really <laughs> okay 
And so, of course, you know, um, we spoke over a period of a few days, you know, to get everything scheduled, but the preliminary approval was super quick. So that played a big part in my decision um, to have the SG in Mexico. Another reason I chose to have the SG in Mexico is because I personally wanted to avoid the insurance headache. I didn't want to deal with the hassle. I didn't want to deal with the waiting period. I didn't want to deal with the possibility of um, being declined. I didn't want to deal with the uh, possibility of being approved and then having to reschedule. I didn't want to deal with the um, just the long drawn out irritating process that I've heard that so many people have been through as a result of trying to get their insurance to pay for the procedure. I didn't want to deal with that. I instead chose to pay out of pocket and that's a, that played another factor into it as well. Um, the cost. Cost was a huge factor for me because even with my insurance, I had insurance through my job at that particular time and like I said, I, I more than likely could have gotten it uh, approved but it would not have been a short term uh, process. It would have been nowhere near as short as the process was um, from start to finish with me opting to go to uh, Mexico. I've heard horror stories about people being approved and then having to be rescheduled numerous times. In addition to that, the out of pocket in some cases, people have spent more out of pocket than I, uh, just for uh, their copay out of pocket than I spent for the entire procedure. And I think that's ridiculous. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. The cost of, well, surgery in general, but the outrageous cost in the United States for this procedure. So again, there were tons of reasons why I didn't want to go the insurance route. I can make a video about that all its own because I just did not want to deal with that nightmare. So instead, I bit the bullet and I paid out of pocket. Um, some people may not agree with that, you may feel like, well, that's what insurance for. Well, that probably is the case for you, but it wasn't the case for me. I'm the type of person that when my mind is made up about something, my mind is made up. And especially something as serious as uh, surgery and the thought of surgery scared me. Um, so not only did I not tell anybody about it because I did not want to um, be talked out of it um, because of all of their possible um, scenarios. I didn't want to hear that. I didn't want those in my head. I didn't want that in my head. I also did not want to deal with all of the possibilities of insurance delays and I, I felt like it would have ultimately resulted in me changing my mind. Even if there were no delays, it's not a quick process. Seldom is it we get you approved, then we get you scheduled, then you have the procedure. Seldom does it help happen like that in the US. So that's what I wanted. I, my mind was made up, I wanted the process done, and I wanted to begin healing. And that's what I did. So I absolutely refused to go the insurance route. That wasn't for me. So that's why I went to Mexico. The quick scheduling process and turnaround time played a huge Part in my decision to have it done uh, in Mexico. In addition to getting the call back within like an hour or so, she provided me with a list of, well, like I think it was like three dates, all within like two months of me talking to her. And I was blown away. I was floored 
that I could possibly be scheduled and have the procedure done over and done with, you know, that fast. Um, I still thought it would have been more of a waiting period and not because I had to wait for anything. I just didn't know they would be able to get me in so soon, so quickly. But basically, um, after you receive approval, which is usually in many cases um, the same day, you get provided with the list of the dates that they have available, usually like within a month or two of the time that you all speak. Um, and they let you know that they will contact you um, within like 24 to 48 hours um, if you need more time, of course. And it's not like a high pressure sales tactic type of thing. It's not that type of situation. It's just more so, okay, you've made up your mind, you've been approved, let's go ahead and get you scheduled. Why prolong it anymore? And I absolutely love that approach. Um, so what happened was the representative let me know, okay, these are the dates available. I let her know that I would need to figure out which dates work best for me. She said, of course. Um, and she also wanted to make sure that um, I would be able to pick a flight that corresponded with the uh, dates that they had available. So what they do then is they email me um, a packet of information that I would need so I would know the process from start to finish. And within that packet is how the scheduling works. So uh, basically, once you decide on your date, the way um, you get reserved or the way they hold your spot or your position is by you showing them that you've booked your flight. So basically, once you decide on the date, you book your flight. There is no need to pay a deposit or anything because your flight is the deposit. And I like that because it wasn't like, okay, you have to pay a certain amount for us to hold your spot. I didn't have to do that. I just had to show how serious I was about booking my flight. And then they were like, okay, once you book your um, flight, you submit um, the information to them. You submit um, your flight information to them. And then they uh, provide you with the next step in the process. Now, what happens is the entire time from the point that you are approved and then you're scheduled, you are assigned a representative. That representative actually works with you from the start to the finish or to your arrival. That representative, you and that representative can communicate back and forth either over the phone, via text, whatever works best, via email. And so that's what I did. Um, once I decided on my date, I sent over my flight information, the representative contacted me the very next day and we got the ball rolling immediately. And so having the option to have everything done um, was just amazing to me. Having the option to have everything done so quickly, I should say so rapidly, you know, and no one dropped the ball anywhere. There was never a point in time where I felt, you know, if I didn't know something, I couldn't reach out to someone. They were always available. Even, uh, I think there was a time I called and my representative wasn't there um, because you, you are assigned a particular representative, so you call and ask for them by name. But if they aren't there when you call, um, someone else is able to help you so you let them know your name what it is that you need and they will let you know well you ask them well, I'm sorry they ask you well what is it that you needed you explain it they document everything so that your representative is able to pick up exactly where you all left off you know so never was I alone was I in the dark they called to check on me throughout the entire process they made sure that I was following the pre-op diet um, because you're emailed a pre-op diet to follow uh, two weeks prior to surgery. Like everything was just seamless and I loved that. It wasn't like healthcare is in the United States where somebody usually drops the ball or 
somebody forgets to schedule this or somebody forgets to do that or now you're getting delayed. Like it was none of that. It was totally seamless. And that is how I feel like it should be anywhere, but that's not the case. So that's where I went. Um, I didn't feel as if I was doing them a favor because I noticed that in traditional or not I shouldn't say traditional but healthcare in the United States it often seems as if you are treated like you're doing them a favor or they're doing they're doing you a favor I'm sorry I'm saying it backwards but you're made to feel as if they're doing you a favor like you're treated like almost you're bothering them or it's a bother to do their job or it's a bother to get an appointment scheduled and you know there have been times where I've been sick and oh I can't take you right now uh, uh, you have to schedule an appointment for a month later like I'm sick right now though I need to come in right now why do I have to wait two months from now or a month from now to schedule an appointment like anyway I just I was over, I didn't want anything to do with hang ups and hold ups and the process was just super seamless to me. So that's what I wanted. Okay, so this wasn't really uh, a reason for the decision, but it was definitely a perk. And that was the fact that I got a vacation. I got a vacation in addition to having surgery. I absolutely got a vacation. Um, you you stay, you well you have the option to either stay at um, a hotel the entire time, be well not the entire time, but the day you arrive, the night before surgery, you can check into a hotel and then you would check into the um, surgical center and then you can leave and go back to the hotel two days later. You know, for your flight home, before your flight the next day. Or you can stay at a luxurious beach resort. Yeah. So, <laughs> or not beach resort, I shouldn't call it a resort because it wasn't a resort, but it was a really nice time sharish condo type of dealie on the beach. It was it was super cool. It was really nice. But um yeah, I really liked the beach resort so what happened was that I had to come a day before everybody doesn't necessarily have to go a day before but I had to go a day before to have blood work done and so I had to I had the option of either staying at the beach resort the day before um, my surgery and then two days later uh, once I was leaving the surgical center I could either go back to the hotel or the beach resort. I chose to go to the beach resort. So the first day, the first night I stayed at the hotel, then I spent two nights at the surgical center, and then I spent my third night uh, at the beach resort. And it was lovely. It was wonderful. Um, I had a very nice room, a very, very nice room, a beautiful view. There was a patio that you can sit out on and you had a spectacular view of the ocean. You could sit out on the patio and eat. Well, I couldn't eat, but you know, if you had companions with you, your companions could sit out there and eat lunch or whatever. And um, additionally, you, we had like this house, assistant house tour guide tour guide I'm not really sure what exactly to, to refer to her as but we had like a, a tour guide slash assistant who showed us how to prepare like our soups our protein soups when we were there and then later on we were asked if we wanted to go out to like shop so we uh, I did want to go shop so I got an op uh, the opportunity to go out and go to like the little shops and then if we wanted to or if our companions wanted to stop at one of the restaurants we were able to go to different restaurants um, we were able 
to go to like the casino that night they would take us to the casino that night so it was just like a mini vacay so why not <laughs> why not go on a vacation you know as opposed to just staying in the hospital you know um, and so I those are my reasons for choosing um, to go the route that I went it's um, non-traditional yes but I'm a non-traditional person so it was perfect for me it was right up my alley I absolutely loved it I wouldn't change it for the world I'd do it again if I had to um, without a second thought and so I had a wonderful experience I'm sure other people may not have but my personal experience was, was amazing and so those are my reasons for choosing VSG in Mexico. Um, if you had VSG in Mexico or are considering it, drop it down below and let me know. Also, um, if you went the traditional route, what was your experience like? What was your personal experience like? Because I'm not knocking the traditional route at all. I'm just saying for me personally, it wasn't for me. But what was your experience like? Leave that in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Turn the notifications on and I'll talk to you in the next video.